Hi, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please click like and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to be decorating these Among Us crewmates that I printed on my 3D printer and I had to print all the parts separately but all together it took me 9 hours. I will leave a link in the description box below for the 3D printing design that I used. I'm going to start by taking some Gemtac glue and gluing the top and bottoms together making sure that I line everything up. And next I'm just going to take some silver metallic paint and paint the visors. Next, I'm going to paint the little guy at the front who's going to have the bone sticking out of him with some paint that I got in Dollar Tree and this paint is not good for this but I didn't have any orange and I did try to mix some orange with the paints that I had but I just couldn't get the colour that I wanted but it won't matter too much because these are just going to be base colours before I put the rhinestones on Oh, and that was me showing you the paint. <laughs> and then I used um, some white Waverly chalk paint for the bone. And chalk paint is probably not the best for 3D paints, but that's what I have. And I'm co covering everything in rhinestones anyway. Here I'm going to use some acrylic paint to paint the guts 
because they are going to be seen. I'm not going to be covering them. I'm just giving the orange another coat of paint because it was really thin and wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to take some Waverly chalk paint in the colour crimson to paint the red guy. And I'm just going to use some Waverly chalk paint in the colour Malachite for the green guy. And for the blue guy, I'm going to use 
the Waverly chalk paint again in the colour Ocean. And for the yellow guy, again some Waverly chalk paint in the colour Maze. And I just did one coat each for this because those paints are thick. And this is what they look like when they're all painted and you can just leave them like this if you want or you can bling it up like me and I'm just going to use some Gentac glue and glue the guts and bone into the little orange guy. I didn't film me painting the inside the visor the first time but I'm just going to give it another coat and then I'm taking a, a fine tipped brush and trying to be steady <laughs> um, so that I can make a line just around the outside edge of the visor. And I'm just going to take a silver sharpie, which I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place instead of trying to paint it with the silver paint because it's too see-through and the sharpie works really good on this. And then I just glue the visors on with some gem tag glue. And 
So I'm just going to take this black self adhesive rhinestone sheet and then I'm just going to cut it into one rose, lengths of one row, and I'm going to use it to um, line around the outside of the visor. And I end up gluing it at the corners with some hot glue just to keep it in place. And then I take my Gemtac glue and brush it on the bone and I use some 3mm white rhinestones to cover it. I'll leave links in the description box for these rhinestones in case you want to purchase them yourself. And I'm just going to use, I think this is a 4mm for the rim of the orange guy and then I use 3mm on his legs and I just apply the Gemtac glue and then 
attach the rhinestones. And then it's just the same for the other guys. Just apply the gem tack glue and then just fit the rhinestones. Then some, some places they'll go on and fit nicely, others you'll have to space them out a little bit to fit. And that's why you paint first so that it's not noticeable once all the rhinestones are on. And then you just do this with each crewmate and matching their colour with the rhinestones. I got this wee wooden tray in Dollar Tree and I'd used it on another project but I'm going to reuse it for this and the box is just a part of my Amazon box that the rhinestones came in and then I'm just going to measure it and then cut it out and then hot glue it to the box, the, the cardboard box to the wooden box and then paint it all black.
So just measure and cut to size this self-adhesive rhinestone sheet and then I attach it to the platform. I printed off these letters from the internet and I'm just going to go over the back of it with a pencil and then I'm going to turn it over and then trace over the letters so that the pencil will show up on the box.
and then I just go over it again with the pencil and then I give all the paint a layer of Mod Podge because I was planning on putting rhinestones over these letters but it didn't look right so I ended up just taking my silver sharpie and tracing over it And this is what it looks like when it's finished and I just added some extra rhinestone sheet to the front of it and these are the crewmates after they're all dried and then once I've decided how I want them to sit I just hot glue them to the base I hope you enjoyed this project, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments who you think the imposter is.